Hi everyone, I'm Captain Mark Henderson with Taco Marine and the Liquid Fire Fishing Team. And today, I want to show you how to install the Shade Fin Mini Semi-Flush Mount. Super easy, and what it does is it allows you to screw it down, have the post there so you can put the Shade Fin Mini on, and then if you want to take it off without the post showing, you can pull it off and have a relatively flush application to where you don't see the post. Let's get started, I'll show you how to take care of it. For installation application, all you need is a few basic tools, and we also provide you with the necessary hardware in the kit to actually screw it down. So all you really need is a 764 inch drill bit, a cordless drill, and a number two Phillips head, whether you use it on a screwdriver and or a bit that can go into your cordless drill. Also, you're gonna need either a pencil, a marker, or some sort of a punch, depending on the surface that you're gonna put it on so that you can mark the holes. It's a very simple process. I wanna show you how to do it, and I'm gonna use it for demonstration purposes on this three quarter inch piece of starboard. But whatever application that you put yours on, just make sure that it's okay to screw into, don't screw through it, and that way you don't damage anything underneath. So let me show you. For this demonstration purposes, I've got a punch that I can make a mark on the starboard that's showing. But for your application, if you've got a marker, a pencil, or a ballpoint pen, any of them will work just fine. But you want to mark the holes, verify before you start drilling. Once you've found your location and marked it, just take your drill bit. To make the installation of the screws easier and so that you're not hitting the sides of the actual mount itself, I like to try to go ahead and put the screw in, back it out, do it on all three, that way the thread pattern's there and you can go ahead and begin the screws and tighten them just slightly so that you don't have problems when putting the mount in place. Okay, I've drilled the holes, I put the screw in and started that. You can see right here, it's a perfect alignment. So I can go ahead and begin putting the screws in by hand. And as you can see, they stay in place. And now I can just take my Phillips head. It's on a torque setting that won't over torque them. We're gonna begin the installation process. So it's really that simple. And the torque setting was really nice to make sure that it doesn't go through and doesn't over torque and strip out your screws. Just make sure you use that to your advantage. Now the next step is to take this slotted piece with the lip on the upside toward the top of the actual post, screw it on all the way till it stops. And then what this is going to do is this threaded piece is gonna go into that base and then we're gonna be able to tighten the flange down tight so that the shade fin mini mounting system will sit right on it and it'll be a good application. Give it a good torque. Make sure that this is in good position, screwed down, really nice and tight. So at this point, the Shade Fin Mini mounting base will go right onto this post. And the good thing about this is that you can unscrew it. It's flat on the surface, and you can take this with you. Next time you need to install it, just put it right in. Super easy, simple to do. And I hope that you'll go to tacomarine.com to learn more about the Shade Fin Mini and all the cool accessories to go with it. Until next time, I'm Captain Mark Henderson with Taco Marine and the Liquid Fire Fishing Team. Look forward to you using your Shade Fin Mini and seeing you on the water soon.